won't be long before Luis and I trade in our coffee here for cocktails on the beach in Bermuda. You love to argue. You know, it is going to be an incredible trip, especially that fancy dinner and ball. And I am so glad that you're going. I am too, Luis. Okay, coffee. I promise. <laughs> I'm doing the right thing here, Hank. I know it must be hard on you going back to the place where you lost Sheridan. But if anybody can help make it better, it's bad. You used to be head over heels in love with her, and she's never stopped loving you. Who knows what can happen? Well, you just take it easy, all right? I know. I know you're right. You gotta go at your own pace. I'm just happy that you're finally moving on after losing Sheridan. Hey, check this out. What you got? This book is about a man who's out to sea for months. He used to write a letter to the woman he loved, put it in a bottle, throw it out into the ocean, hoping that somehow it's going to reach her. It's so romantic. You think? Sounds kind of weird to me. How does this guy ever think that his letters are actually going to reach the woman he loves? It doesn't sound so far-fetched to me. Why not? Yes, I did the same thing. I wrote a letter to Sheridan. I put it in a bottle. I tossed it out to sea, hoping that it would find her. Put my heart and soul into that letter. Not that I thought that Sheridan would ever find it. It's just... I just wish I knew for sure that she could somehow know how I felt. I can never write something like that, but I admire you for doing it, Louise. It was beautiful. Most beautiful letter I've, I've ever heard. Beth, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to dredge up Sheridan again, especially since you and I are going to Bermuda together. It's okay, Louise. I know how much you loved Sheridan. And hearing how you felt in your own words, I can only imagine how much she would have loved reading that letter. Well, I guess I'll never know, will I?